Thank you guys for deciding to tune in and watch this video. In today's video, I want to talk about something that's been going on for a while, and it's a good thing. And that is the resurgence of the blue blur Sonic the Hedgehog. Everyone knows Sonic's had a pretty rocky history from his infancy on the Sega Genesis and to where he's currently at now. It's been pretty rocky. For those of you that don't know, essentially his transition into the 3D era was eh, pretty interesting. A lot of ups and downs. And then Sega leaving the hardware market and just essentially becoming publishers and still developing games. A lot of the Sonic titles we got were really hit or miss. Um, we would get, it would, you know, we'd get a Generations, then we'd get... And Unleashed. And honestly, I, I like Unleashed. I still think to this day that Unleashed has the best... The day stages in Unleashed are the best Sonic levels I've ever played in a 3D Sonic game. Uh, but I can understand how some people feel about the Werehog levels. Um, they definitely feel like they're just kind of thrown in there. And it's a bummer because we had Sonic Adventure and then we had Sonic Adventure 2, which were like such great games. And we just really wanted more of that. But for some reason, Sonic Team just wants to continuously try and reinvent the wheel and change things when they really don't need to. So, it's been a mixed bag. We've had Sonic Colors, which has been pretty good. Then we had Shadow the Hedgehog, which was kind of eh. We had Sonic Heroes, which some people liked. It's, it's all over the place. The consistency is definitely not there. Uh, critically and commercially, titles have just been all over the place. So, Sonic's found himself in a pretty rocky spot right let's move forward to 2017 we have the release of sonic forces which myself i was actually pretty excited about um excuse me also we had sonic mania that year which i was pretty excited about i played that and really enjoyed it and that was kind of return to form in terms of the genesis um familiarity and the genesis titles and i think that game was great and then we had Sonic Forces, and Sonic Forces was very mediocre at best. I think some call me Johnny put it perfectly. It was a Sonic game on autopilot. It was just kind of there, uh, which is kind of a letdown because I was looking forward to that. So then what, right? After that, it was kind of just, we had Team Sonic Racing that came out, and I actually kind of enjoyed that. I thought that was a good racer. Um, and then after that, we had the Sonic movie. And now <laughs> it's... Funny, because we all know the notorious first trailer for the Sonic movie was just an abomination. I mean, that the model they had for Sonic just looked terrible. Like, bad. It was bad. And then, thankfully, Sega and the studio listened to fans, and they reworked it, and it was great. I remember going to see that in theaters with my friend Chris, and we were both thinking, oh, we're going in for laughs. Like, it's going to be so bad, it's good kind of way. But we actually were pleasantly surprised at how good it was. And it um, commercially did very well. For the time, I think it grossed around a little over $315 million globally. But uh, COVID-19 started to really disrupt the theaters. So you could argue that it definitely could have had longer legs in the theaters if COVID-19 wasn't a thing. So then after that, we had Sonic Colors Ultimate, which definitely had some issues coming out the gate, but Sonic Colors in itself is still a good Sonic game. And then we had Sonic Movie 2, which did even better at the box office, over 400 million globally, and people incredibly liked it. And we had the Knuckles TV show. And then along with that, we had more games. We had Sonic Origins, then we had Sonic Origins Plus, which was finally the first time that we got Sonic 3 re-released. Because of the whole Michael Jackson controversy, which is something I will not get into. If you're not aware, Michael Jackson was involved with some of the music of the original Sonic 3. So it's been pretty hard re-release over the recent years. I think we got uh, on the Gems Collection on the DS, there's Sonic the Hedgehog 3. And then you can get it on Xbox, I believe, too. But uh, because of that, there's some been some issues re-releasing it. But they finally did. And it was a great package. Um, a little peep, some people were bummed out because of how, you know, they did the same thing with Mania where they released it digitally, then they re-released it physically with a bunch of added goods and stuff like that. But anyway, we got Sonic Origins. In my opinion, I think it's a great compilation title to have all the Sonic Genesis titles and you get the Game Gear games, 
which are some there's some great Sonic Game Gear games um, on uh, in that collection. So I'd recommend picking it up. You can find it for like twenty bucks. It's definitely well worth it. And then on top of that, we got what changed the game, which was Sonic Frontiers. A lot of people came into Sonic Frontiers skeptical, myself included. The demo was a little rocky. Um, and it IGN had exclusive coverage. And this is one thing I really didn't get. I thought it was fine. I thought it looked okay. But for, for some reason, people were like freaking out that it wasn't polished enough and this, that, and the fourth. I thought it looked all right. I definitely needed some work, but I don't think it was that big of a deal. Then the game came out, and people loved it. Um, it reviewed pretty well for a Sonic game. I believe it's in the low to mid-70s for a Sonic game. That's not bad. Um, and then fans received it very well. It to, Life to date, uh, it's likely over this by now, has sold 3.5 million units. That, that's an old figure, so it's it's likely, I'm, I'm going to guess, closer to 4 to 5 million. Um, and it definitely deserves that. It's the, one of the best-selling Sonic titles in years. I think the formula for it was great. My friend Ty and I actually did a review on it, which I will link down below if you want to check it out. But it was a phenomenal Sonic game. Really great. Um, and then after that, they kind of kept things going. This time on the 2D side, and they kind of reinvigorated that. And this one's a little um, controversial, I suppose, or a little more on the N side. But that was Sonic Superstars. And I actually enjoyed Sonic Superstars. I thought it was fun. I thought it was a great return to form for 2D Sonic. I think they nailed the physics. It definitely felt way more like 2D Sonic than Sonic did than 2D Sonic did in Forces and in Generations. It was great. Some of the soundtracks were phenomenal. They got old talent back that used to work on the original Sonic games. I thought it was good. I didn't think it was great. I didn't think it was the best Sonic game in the world, but I thought it was good. I thought there was, there definitely could be more room for improvement, um, but I hope they really continue upon that because bottom line, I think it was good and it deserves a sequel or to be improved upon or to continue to make 2D Sonic games in that vein. And then why the heck did we not get more Mania? I mean, Mania was fantastic, but that's for another video. Anyway, and now... We're, we're, we are at where we're at today, which is the recent release of Shano, <laughs> excuse me, Shadow, Sonic X Shadow Generations, which is essentially a remaster of Sonic Generations, but with a, essentially a second game, which is Shadow Generations. And so far, day one, mind you, it did have three day early access for the digital deluxe version. It is sold shipped and sold a million units which is fantastic and we have sonic movie 3 coming out very soon before the end of the year with keanu reeves voicing shadow which is just freaking awesome um and yeah i just want to celebrate that like we are really in the resurgence of sonic right now the games are doing well critically commercially it's being received well the movies are doing well merchandise is probably doing well I really hope Sega takes note of all of this and can continue this momentum and realize that consistency is key. Continue to iterate and continue to develop upon what you've already established with frontiers and with formulas that we know work. Do not, con do not change things. Now is not the time for change. Keep the momentum going. Give us more Sonic Frontiers. And please, 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 Sega, please just remaster Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. I don't care in what format you do it. I don't care if it's a remake. I don't care if it's a remaster. Those games need to be re-released. I don't want to play them via Xbox backwards compatibility on my Xbox. I just want a physical version of those games that's not on the original, that's more accessible, and that's not super expensive. So please just bring those to modern platforms. People love them. People will eat them up. It's a great way to just get people back into the old era of uh, the infancy of 3D Sonic. That A lot of these younger kids who have probably got into the games because of the recent movies or because of, believe it or not, some of the mobile titles, which apparently have been doing pretty well. I believe the Apple Arcade one, um, which is definitely geared towards a younger audience, and obviously kids play on you know smartphones and tablets and things of that nature. So they've probably played it on their iPad or their iPhone, and that too is probably 
introduce them into the blue burst. So let's get those older titles out. Do more of the Sonic Origins, but like, can we please do that with the 3D games, right? You did it with Sonic Colors. Please do it with Unleashed. I love Unleashed. I know people hate the Werehog stages, but the day stages and that are so good. But yes, this video is essentially to celebrate the resurgence of Sonic. Sega, please keep this momentum going forward. Hopefully in the future, we see new titles that iterate upon what's already developed. Do not shake things up right now. I think Sega is on a good track and they can continue to do this. So thank you guys for hearing me ramble on into the microphone once again. I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.